Welcome back. He's our science guy. He loves blowing things up, but Steve Spangler is also a best selling author. Yeah, apparently. He's joining us live <laughs> now from the set of his. Where are we? There we are. Here we go. Yes. Joining us live now from the set of his television show, <laughs> DIY Sci in Littleton. <laughs> Steve, good morning to you, my friend. Hey, my mom thanks you that you didn't write this when I was still a kid because our house would have yeah. been a mess. <laughs> You're just happy I'm not in studio. It's been 18 months. All right, let's just be perfectly honest. I can blow this up, Natasha. I hope you're doing well. You tell Ed Green that we used to, well, he knows, we used to work together so many years ago. I've burned holes in his suit just like I did my cobert. So <laughs> he, they, still they hey, he still has them. He still has them in his suit. I know. I know. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, brand new book, Super Cool Science Experiments. Uh, uh, from our good friends at Media Topics Lab. Uh, and uh, what's great about this is in most of the sentences I used a subject and a verb. So I think the kids are gonna like that a lot. Uh, there's punctuation, I think, and, and most importantly, what we're talking about is finding ways to be able to get families uh, to re-engage, get kids doing hands-on uh, kinds of things, hands-on science as they go back into the classroom because teachers are just relearning this process as well going through the last 18 months. Uh, can I show you something, a little twist? I'll do a classic and a twist, fair yes. enough? Um, you're gonna use a hard-boiled egg, so get yourself a hard-boiled egg. And now the object is to get the hard-boiled egg into the bottle. Now, you can find a, a bottle that's just a little too small for it. Now, normally what I would do is you would light something on fire. <laughs> Why not? And you'd put it down inside. You'd heat the air up, push some of the air out, somehow get the air pressure to push the egg in. But we can actually do it this way, an upside-down twist. So watch this. You just put the uh, candles in the egg itself. All right? So if you got a birthday coming up, this is the way that you celebrate the birthday with the kids. And so now we light this. And so now the object is this. We're going to heat the air inside the bottle. Then we're going to make a, a little seal over it like this. And then hopefully the outside air pressure will push it up. So watch. Here it goes like this. Heat that air up. There it is. There it is. There it is. Good. And now watch this. Oh, Bam! yes. Lovely. And the crowd goes wild. Would you that look at that? Cool. Now, but here, here's my question for you. How do you get the egg out of the bottle? Okay, pop quiz. And I'm not going to put the answer on the screen like just happened. <laughs> uh, we, we, you, you're going to actually have to guess how do you get, Natasha, how do you get well, the air out of the bottle? Or how do you get the egg out of the bottle? It's, oh. it's, I mean, right. it's going to extinguish because it, it needs oxygen and then it's just going to fall right. out. She like went, she right. like did all the med school studies. Like, <laughs> I don't know this stuff. Not going to fall out. Look, it's, it, but it's a good guess. Great guess. See, Watch. This is why blow I here, blow here, time. and then all of a sudden you're going to push air inside here and force it back out, and then you're going to have a little snack. Watch this. Ready? <sighs> Boom. Oh. Pop goes the weasel. There it is right there. Did you see that? The crowd goes wild once again, and I've ruined another shirt. No, uh, it, it's how it goes. Uh, the book is filled with things that you can do at home, but things that might have a little risk factor to them as well. Sure. Uh, yes. And when I say that, you, cause why, why do you want to do anything that's safe? The risk factor is here's what you do you take a Ziploc bag and you fill the Ziploc bag with water because that just seems like a good idea. Point. Yes. Yes. And now you take pencils, sharp pencils, and you bet the kids that you can jam the pencil through the bag and the water won't leak out. Well, of course, you got to do this at the beginning. Just put it at the top, and they think that you're told it's a scam, right? But then you say, oh, watch this, ladies and gentlemen. And as you push it through like this, would you look at that? The bag, plastic, is a polymer, and the polymer seals itself around the pencil. So I must have selected a pencil that has perfectly round edges. There's our variable for our experiment. We're really trying to get kids to become critical thinkers as well. And wow. so we want to do so. Oh, look at I that. I would be look soaked that, right now if I was doing this, by the way. This is good. And, and what you do is you get the kids to now, uh, you, you put this over their head, and then you pull the, uh, the, the pencils out. <laughs> and when you do that, then the water leaks out, and they clap. <laughs> and see, they think it's great, and you think it's hilarious, and you get to entertain both of you along. I'm so impressed by how dry you are right now. Listen, the next time you come on, we got to make this brown sugar homemade ice cream. That's the experiment that I want, Steve. 
Well, I, I was going to do that or the walking on glass. Either oh. one. Uh, yeah, you just you know, ask Natasha about walking on glass. Yeah. It was her very it. first week at the studio, and I had her walk on glass. It's not in the book. These are 50 things that you can do at home. Amazon has it now, so thanks to everybody making it a number one bestseller in kids' books uh, over overnight uh, for our launch that happened yesterday. And uh, I'm just kind of excited that people are going to do these kinds of things at home, and you'll find them uh, at Amazon or Barnes & Noble or go to your local Target, any of those nice places that sell books. All right, okay. love it, Steve. Thank you so much. We appreciate you bringing the excitement this morning. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. We'll see you in the studio soon, I hope. Yes, hopefully. Have a good one, Thank my you. friend. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, good.